You don't always have to have a new cylinder. There's a couple of ways of, of doing it without. Now, one way is to put in a preheat cylinder, which is obviously it's another new cylinder, but it's not replacing your existing one. Um, and that has quite a good benefit because the solar is never competing for any, uh, against anything in, in its cylinder, so it can always heat that cylinder up from cold. Um, the other way is there's, there's a few um, systems, for instance, a Willis solar siphon that can be attached to the cylinder, um, but you just have to make sure that your existing cylinder is of sufficient storage capacity in the first place, because the solar systems will work when the sun's shining, so mm -hmm. you have to ensure that when the sun's shining you make the most of it. So it's very important to ensure that you've got the correct storage capacity, and it's also very important that you've got the correct exchange rate inside whatever you're attaching to the cylinder because the solar panels quite often will work at a very low temperature but that low grade heat is still very useful so you want to make sure that you can get every bit of energy out of it possible. So in most cases we fit new cylinders. We believe that the additional cost involved with fitting a new cylinder is far outweighed with the efficiency gains in the life of the system. And what is the right size of cylinder? Okay, the right size of the cylinder is a very tricky one. It's generally, a, in most cases, again, rough rule of thumb, we normally double what your, your, your um, standard capacity is. Now, in a normal household, you're normally looking at around about 50 litres per person uh, in the household, anywhere from, from 30 to 60 litres per person, usually around 50 litres per person, and then we look at doubling it for solar. So in most cases, you're, you're looking sort of in a two to three bedroom house, somewhere around a two to 250 litre cylinder, and sort of three, um, sort of four to five bedroom house, sort of three to 400 litre cylinder. So it's, it's quite a, a large size compared to, to what most households have presently. Um, but it, it is very important that you have that storage there for solar.